remember recently we had that uh, diesel on the channel where I did a short video on it we hooked a uh, fuel line to the top of the Schrader valve going to uh, the top of that uh, fuel housing where all the fuel and stuff comes in I showed you guys all the air that was coming back out of it mind you we had just got done doing a uh, high pressure pump in it and harness around the pump the harness was bad had to pull it all back apart put another harness around it the vehicle left they drove it about 150 miles we didn't do anything else to the truck other than that it was running great they drove it about 150 miles and uh, next morning they went to fire it up and it wouldn't wouldn't start it just crank 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 it wouldn't start so we go out there and uh, hook the fuel bleed off line or fuel we hook we put our own return line into that Schrader valve and ran it to the back of the truck in the tank and when you relieved the pressure or the yeah some of the pressure in the fuel system and put that return line into that Schrader valve ran it back to the tank and gave the air a different path to go with the fuel fired up ran pretty good uh, the other day got to pulling everything apart pull the valve covers off had to reseal all the injectors in that 6.4 they used an uh, they used a different style uh, or a different type of uh, injector It's called like power performance or something or performance power it's a, an injector that we hadn't seen I know I hadn't seen I haven't seen it and every one of the injectors that was uh, torqued down on the driver's side were completely loose and the one that was given the most problem where the exhaust was getting up past the seal uh, was escaping past the copper o-ring and it was allowing carbon to build up in the the nozzle area of the fuel injector and exhaust was pushing past the seal up past the umbrella of the injector and getting right back into the, re, uh, the fuel return port and it was pushing right back into the fuel system it was nasty whoever did the work did a very very poor job and i think it was like five or six of the injectors were not even torqued down one of them was completely loose where you could almost pull it out by hand it was just barely in so the exhaust was escaping past the injector seal and getting up in the return side of the fuel just like what was suspected uh, that's what I said whenever I first seen this condition. It's it's getting exhaust on the return side of the fuel. That's it's got to be, and that's exactly what it was. Was uh, whoever did the work with these performance power performance or performance power or something. I don't I don't remember the name exactly, and they did they just didn't do the job correctly. And with us running the vehicle. Um, with a new high pressure pump getting on it running it them taking it and running it some of them finally worked their way loose and one of them was really one of them came so loose that it was able to unseat and carbon and soot build up was starting to happen right in the face of it right underneath the seal area you could see like a big mound of deposit like you could spoon it out if you had like a little tiny spoon you could pull it out it was building up so bad and uh, in the injector seat anyhow that's the update air in the fuel 6.4 liter power stroke